Hello everybody, this is Janice, and I am here to share my top 20 fades of 2010 for scrapbooking, crafting, card making, all that stuff that we do. I was tagged by Passion for Crafting. Thank you so much for thinking of me. That was really neat. I appreciate it. Um, so let's get started. Um, on my, and I didn't put them in any particular order only because that would take me forever to, you know, so I just, as I thought of them, I wrote them down. The first thing that came to my mind was Bling Mash. This is probably my top favorite thing that I got at the Scrapbook Expo, and my lighting's not really very good here today, but this one's not literally bling. It's kind of like um, rivety looking, which I love for masculine things. It just looks like rivets to me. I'm trying to see if I can position my light. It's it's kind of gloomy these days. Yesterday was a floor, gloomy Florida day, which is very unusual. And it's starting off that way too. Anyway, but um, there's the bling. I have other colors too. So that's what came to my mind, very first thing that came to my mind. And I got mine at the Scrapbook Expo back in May. And then my next thing that came to my mind was this Dimensional Magic. I mean, I have to say, this probably should be my top. Um, it's made by Mod Podge. I love it. I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. It's kind of replaced my glossy accents a little bit. Um, but I still use that too. So... The Dimensional Magic. I have discovered a love for 6x6 papers, and I've been trying not to hoard them. But look, it is kind of a hoarding situation, because this isn't all the ones I have. I have others. And, um, yeah. So, But what I love about them is that they're small, you know, for card making. You all know. I don't have to explain, because I think the same thing's going on in your house. Um, so, I love the 12 by 12 papers. And, um, so that's number three. Number four is my color wash. And my, let's do this. Maybe bring it into the light more. Um, color wash and these fireworks by Sukaneko. They are really concentrated. It's a very small bottle. But, oh my. What comes out of this little bottle is literally like fireworks. It's beautiful. And the color wash is more of a color. So I love these. I'll be collecting these now in 2013. Oh boy. Us in our collections. Number five um, is my new mini books cartridge and my Fontopia cartridge. And my um, Create a Critter 2. I love these three cartridges. See, I so I even have this out. My book, my mini books, and my Fontopia. I think they're very versatile. I love cartridges that you can do lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things, creative things, out of the box kind of things. So those are, and this was thanks to Scrap and Belly. You are so sweet. Thank you, Kelly. I'm really thankful. And then, um, Number six is my Stamps of Life. I joined Stamps of Life in 2012, and I haven't regretted it. Now, the sad thing is I don't, I just haven't used them as much as I thought I would. I'm looking for them. Hold on. And to go along with that, Stephanie at the Stamps of Life has... I'm going to have to come out a little bit here. She has these pockets where you can put your stamps in. And I'm using them just not just for Stamps of Life, but for other ones. So if you've never been to the Stamps of Life, I caution you. There's a lot of cuteness going on there. Just be careful because you'll get sucked in. And oh my gosh, so cute. This was my original. I'm looking for something white. But come on, look at that. Isn't that adorable? That's the Turtles to Love, is it? Turtle to Love is what got me first. Oh, 
There we go. So I joined the club, and what it is is you get every first, in fact, maybe, I know that the new one is on the way, should be here, maybe today even. So, um, so here's some other ones, and so see, you can see the stamps through these clear things, and then, um, since we're here, another thing on my list is background stamps, and I've got some new background stamps in 2012, and um, my, these two are two of my favorites. Now, these came from Market Street Stamps, and they're another great company. It's the daughter of the Peachy Keen Stamps lady, so she has great background stamps, and I love how they stamp, so... So background stamps, I, that was down the list, so I have to remember that I said that one already. Yeah, these are stuffed. I need a bigger binder and I need more of these plastic sheets. Okay. I know, you want to see all of them probably, but anyway, there's my binder. It's very thick. It's very full. I need a bigger one. Okay, and then um, distress markers. Oh my gosh, I have them all, of course, because I got them when they were at Blitzy. I just went ahead and just got all the ones I didn't have. And I love these because I love that um, distress um, is activated by water. I love the way it, I just love what it does. It's so fun. So I love anything distress, but I just added the distress markers to my collection. And then um, number nine is my new embossing folders. I got some new ones this year, but my favorite ones are the ones that I just recently, recently got. So Robin, I had told her that I wanted this. This one, it's hard to see um, without paper. Let's see here. What can I use to put it inside of? Why? There's paper everywhere. Why can't I just pick something? This lighting is horrible. No, you can't see that. Oh, here we go. So, do you see how it looks like? It's grade, grade eight, grade eight. I don't know how to say that, gradated. Gradient, it's more dots and then it goes to more sparse dots towards the top. So I really love that. Yay! Thank you, Robin. She got me this for Christmas. But um, it comes in a set. Oh, here, the picture on the box is better. And it comes with the words. So this one's called Dots. And the other one is called Christmas Words. So we got a jump start for next year. So I could see using this as for sentiments on cards and layouts. And I do have some Christmas layouts to do. And then check this out. This pack from Sizzix and Hero Arts comes with something called a talking tag. And I haven't watched any videos, but look at all it is. It's one of these little thingies, and I don't know how to use it. It does come with the instructions. So maybe this will be a favorite of 2013. I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but it came with it. So did you know that, Robin? Did you realize that? It was a bonus in there. Thank you. So there's that. And then I love my wood grain one, too, that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is a paper studio one. And I have to say, these, were only, these are only $4.99 at Hobby Lobby and the plastic it does I mean it's kind of warped and stuff they're cheap but I mean and I mean like poor quality it hasn't broken or anything so but I still love it because it's wood grain it's a nice wood grain so anyway that is on my top favorite so those are my new embossing folders and um, number 10 is my tonic trimmers. I have this one. This one is the 8 or 9. 
by five and a hmm. Um, I don't remember what they call this one, but it's perfect for card making. Okay, and I have the big huge one. I'm not going to get it out because that's a beast to get out, but I do use it. And um, I wish I had one for our school because it's perfect for teachers, you know. So, um, but I love it and I use it when I'm doing a lot of a project. Like if I'm mass producing something, that is what I go to. And I, when every time I use it, I'm so glad I have it. So my tonic trimmer, number 10, number 11 is Cling Mount. I um, love, I discovered Stamper's Best this year. And um, stampersbest.com. They have great, oops rubber stamps and quality good quality red rubber but the clean mount comes at eight and a half by eleven and they have the best price that I have found so clean mount comes in a nice box and then to go with the clean mount I also invested in the clear I bought the big pack of this um, these cards because they hold your stamps on them and they're very very clear I'll show you in the binder so that goes with that and then to go, also I bought number 12 on my list is my hot knife that I bought at Michael's with a 50% coupon so this is great it's worked wonderfully happy with that um, my score buddy is number 13, and I got the little one. I have the Martha Stewart one, and it's good. I'm happy with it. It's just really big, so when I make cards is usually when I'm scoring stuff. So this is great, but the Martha Stewart one is great for when you're making books, like mini books and things, and you need more, more room, or you're making um, dimensional items, 3D items from your Cricut machine. Also great. So, but the score buddy's new to me in 2012. Then, um, number 14 is my pink and green corner chompers. So, these two here are two that I added this year. And I'll show you. The pink one seems to be the one I've been grabbing the most lately because it's just an angle one. See, so it's great if you're trying to make something that looks like a tag. So that's great. And, you know, it's great because these cut through lots and lots of paper all at once and chipboard and things and acetate and stuff like that. So they're great that way. And then the deco, oh, and then the other one is this, which I've been using a lot late, lately. And that's a cute tag. And then, um... The other one, other side, oops, I'm trying to get my scissors here. I thought of something else to add to the list. It's hard to keep it to 20. And then this one is the green, and this is a stub. So that's cool too. And then the other side is a deco. To call it deco. So this is awesome. You know, if you're trying to just make like a little tag or something to put an image or a sentiment on, very cute. So love these two. I'm, I'm happy that I got these in 2012. Okay. Um. Moving on. Oh, my magic foam. I got this from joggles.com. She's one that I've heard of this stuff before. I've seen it. It's been around for a long time. But I never could find where to order it. And I didn't know what to call it because I didn't know the name of it. So I didn't know how to Google it. So um, this stuff, you can create your own background stamps. Like I could heat this up with my heat tool stick it here on my scissors or on this bling mesh you know I could heat it up and I could just push it on there and then the impression 
is left on here and then you can make your own background stamps. I think I might do that. That is so fun. So I love that. And then when you get tired of that background, you heat it up and it goes smooth again. Remarkable. Joggles.com. Check it out. Or Magic Foam has another name too, a technical name, but Magic Foam is what it's called. And then washi tape. Um, and this is just, I've had the washi tape for a while, but I haven't really gotten into it till the last days of 2012. And I don't have any fancy washi tape. It's just this stuff that I got at Target. And now it's so readily available everywhere, but I will only get it if it's a really good price. Because it, let's face it, it's just paper tape. So I'm not paying crazy amounts of money for it, but it's cool. And then, um... I mentioned Stamper's Best. I did have that on there. I'm going to show you my binder. I have to redo but it does have my Stamper's Best stamps in it so see these are some that I got from Stamper's Best and these are hero sentiments and then um, but they're not on their cling cards this is just paper cardstock that I ran through a laminator but I don't know that this material that the lamination material is really good for the it doesn't seem to be breaking it down so it, it may be okay I'm not sure see here's another background stamp I got from Robin that I love so you can see here I have tons of background stamps and then um, the stampers best stamps are just really good quality but I don't have any in here other than the red these ones right here I got a whole butterfly set that I absolutely love so that's how I keep it this one's I think a three inch binder and I have another one that's a four inch binder okay so stampers best check them out and then um, I said number 18 background stamps which I showed you And then glitter. I love when, when we go to the um, Scrapbook Expo, I love going to these people. Um, Sparkle and Sprinkle, they have a very fun booth. They do these demos. They, I know they do classes. They're even in Florida. They're in Ruskin, Florida. I don't know what else is in Ruskin. I mean, I don't know if I would drive all the way out there. But anyway, they just, it, it's fun. I Well, you know, don't we all love glitter so but their glitter is really good quality and I got into the semi-transparent which is great because you can stamp an image and then put something over it like run it through your Xyron and then glitter um, sprinkle it with the semi-transparent glitter and then you can see through it so you can see your stamped image underneath it I love that so I got the sparkling snow and the waterfall Gorge, gorge. And then, oh, my bling from the Rubber Cafe, which Robin bought for me last Christmas. She got me this, this, and this. And I absolutely, oh no, she got me these. And then I ordered the clear and the black in the blue and so I need to fill in the other colors so those are really cute I like them and then my last thing is hard to film but I'm gonna attempt to show you this so don't get sick I'm gonna cover so you're not all busy from me turning my camera and hopefully I can get this okay this thing I have wanted, I don't know, maybe for five, 
years or so. Um, it's called the Scrap Ma Bob, and I know it's old news, but for those of you new to crafting, I got it from Walmart.com because it was a good price. It was under $17, 16 something, and it was delivered to the store, so no shipping. Of course, I had to drive to Walmart, but I go to Walmart anyway, several times a week. They know me by first name. So, um, here's how it works. Um, you unscrew it. And see, it has a clamp. And you clamp it to your table, and then your drink, and I have my big mug, will fit in there. Okay, coffee, and then it has this awesome bag, and it seems like it's not a very big bag, but let me tell you, it holds a lot, and then this part, you can un, let's clamp it back here so I can show you the trash part. jammies but see it comes off and then you can dump it out I just stick my hand in there and take it all out and then dump out the little pieces that are at the bottom and then it just stack on there so I love it and I love that it doesn't obstruct the it's, it's, I mean it's solid and then I have my trimmer right there so I can still get to my trimmer See, so that was a worry of mine. So I didn't want to take out my space right here. I love this area. So that's it. That's my faves for 2012. Thank you so much for watching, and um, thank you for tagging me. I am gonna tag a couple people here. I'm gonna tag Jan from um, Poke Fan. Um, love Jan. She is a really neat person and I enjoy her. And then I'm going to tag Stacy from Love That Bug. My problem is I haven't watched every single one of these videos because it's been Christmas time and break and I've been busy doing this and that and the other thing. So I'm not sure. I apologize if either one of you have done this video and I missed it. I was kind of looking for it last night but I couldn't find it. So, um, Stacy from Love That Bug and um, Jan from Poke Fan, if you guys could do your videos next, I would love to see what your faves are. Thanks for watching. Bye.